What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, to my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Got two sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Love you guys so much. Okay, so I received a channel message. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do here. Okay, so the channel message I received was, I've been pulling in a lot of Secret 7 recently, this weekend, a lot. And this is Secret 7 related, I just want to say. Okay, I heard um, some members inside the Secret 7 community, some, and a shit ton, and I did hear a shit ton, outside of their community, uh, the Secret 7 community. I heard C Single Mom Leo's Secret 7 community. That's what I heard. Single mom Leo Secret 7 community. So some members inside the Secret 7, Single Mom Leo Secret 7 community, some, but a shit ton outside of Single Mom Leo Secret 7 community. I heard they're getting a uh, already got a huge wake up call and more are about to get a huge wake up call that um her, her and her kids were human and sex trafficked in the past by the core members of the Secret Seven. You plug it in how it resonates. Well, that is, if you think about it, that is technically what they did. And that's just the truth. They made all that money secretly through the voyeur camera in her house, which she pays a uh, mortgage for every month. They made all the they made money from celebrities, people and high level people in their community donating and betting on her and her family in the past, and whatever else they were doing as far as money exchange with that illegal business. That is technically what they did. They human and sex trafficked her and her family because they made money off people without consent or authorization that they shouldn't have. And single mom Leo has right, she has custody of those kids or had custody of those kids, or still has rights of those kids. What I'm saying is they had no legal rights over those kids to make money off them, and definitely no legal rights over her, is what I'm trying to say. I heard it, also heard an air sign thought this was very funny in the past, but they're about to get a huge ass wake up call and realize um, um, that it's not funny because they're about to reap some ne very negative repercussions. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, so I'm not going to draw this out, make it real long, but that is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So single mom Leo and her secret seven community. I'm presuming she still lives there. She still lives there. She still lives there. So many people are getting huge wake up calls. So many. Okay. I heard so many people are getting huge wake up calls. So many. So, so many people are getting huge wake up calls. Well, I mean, that is technically what that is. So single mom Leo and her secret seven community, basically, some people in her community, I think they already knew it was human and sex trafficking, to be honest. I think they already knew it was. Um, but some are getting huge wake up calls and realizing it was human and sex trafficking. And anytime there's money exchanged off a human without consent or authorization or kids without consent or authorization, that is selling like human slavery. Go read the human sex trafficking um chart on the community tab if anybody is unclear and confused about human and sex trafficking there's a wonderful little graph and chart on the community tab you're welcome to look at it it shows exchange money exchange selling human slavery which is i.e human and human sex trafficking single mom leo has or had full custody or visitation rights of those children meaning anybody that made money off those kids in the past, they had no right to do it. And they definitely didn't have any right to make money off of her. What they did was human and sex trafficking. And that's just the truth. But I feel, and I didn't hear that people knew in the her community that it was that in the past. But I mean, that is technically what the fuck that is. And that's just the truth. But I heard some are about to get a huge wake up call in her community and realize that is what happened. But a shit ton of people outside her community, it sounds like more way outside her community than in her community are about to get a huge wake up call and realize that's what happened. And I heard an air sign thought it was so, so, so funny, funny, hee-haw, funny um, in the past. 
but they're about not to because they're about to start receiving negative karma and negative energy into this meaning they need to be held accountable and responsible for what the hell they did and that's just the truth whoever this air sign is they have gemini libra aquarius and they're a sun moon rising venus with them in heaven jupiter charts you should never human sex traffic anybody that's one that's against humanity and two that's a crime if anybody needs to hear that and the thing is is so many people were donating in through that illegal business which they had no right to do because single mom leo still pays mortgage on her home still to this day um because i'm single mom leo trust me this this secret seven house i still for five years i paid mortgage on this house so trust me i know still paying mortgage on my house so, um, I paid mortgage then, I paid mortgage now is what I'm trying to say. So, whatever the hell they were doing in my house in the past with that illegal business, all the celebrity wire transfers, all the people in the community high level with a lot of money, transfers of money into that illegal business that the core members of the Secret Seven scammed, spammed, and frauded everybody in my community and others. They made all the money off that. I didn't make not a damn dime. And that's just the truth. Not a damn dime. But some air sign. So technically that's human and sex trafficking is what I'm trying to say. All these people thought they were donating or giving to me and my kids in the past. But they wasn't. They wasn't. They were really giving to some uh, scon. Con I can't speak. Con and scammers basically. And that's just the truth. Because I never received a dime of that shit. A damn dime. And that's just the truth. But Air Sign thought this was so funny, funny, hee-haw. They're about not to. Well, good. Because they need to be held accountable for their damn actions. That's just the truth. And a very spoiled Libra off of spoiled, uh, spoiled, sorry. A very spoiled Libra off of stolen money became a very spoiled Libra off of stolen money. They're about to have to return all the money. One, they will be charged. They will go to prison. Human trafficking. And there's a stolen inheritance in there too. Okay, so some kind of Libra energy, mass market Libra. They can have Libra in any aspects of their chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, family, damage, Jupiter charts. But whoever this Libra is, they either have a stolen inheritance or they have um, human trafficking money, human sex trafficking money. I feel like there's at least two Libras in here. They mean mass or fem, have Libra in any aspects of their charts. But it's either human sex trafficking money or it's um, stolen inheritance money. But however that resonates... Um, I heard through many series of shame events, at least one of these people will end up in prison through many series of shame events, and one will have to end up returning the money. Now, I don't know if they'll have to end up returning the money and be charged and be sent to prison, or just have to return the money. I guess it's however the people in their jurisdiction area, however the, whatever the law entails and however that is followed is what I'm trying to say. I'm not an officer of the law. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a judge. So I don't know. But I did hear one of them will have to re end up returning money and one will um, one will um, end up in prison through many series of chain events. There's at least two Libras. But one has a stolen inheritance and one has um, human sex trafficking money. Well, here's an idea for anybody needs to hear this. All this money that the core members of the Secret Seven made off of uh, human sex trafficking of single mom Leo and her family in the past, i.e. me and my kids in the past, because I'm single mom Leo, the original single mom Leo. My kids are currently not here with me. They're with my creepy DPX husband. And that's just the truth. And we were a very, very, very happy family in the past. And that's just the damn truth. But he's mind controlled them because he's a master manipulator. And that's just the truth. But for anybody that needs to hear this or wants to hear this, why don't you take all this money that was made off of our backs in the past, me and my kids, i.e. the human and sex trafficking that apparently the core members of the Secret Seven just ranked up on and made all this big 
fast cash um, off the of human and sex trafficking, trafficking us in the past, off these celebrities and people that have a lot of money trying to help us in the past, but they really wasn't helping us because it wasn't even us. It was a scam and a fraud. Why don't you take the money and put it into programs in the community, like homelessness or, um, or something, I mean, something that's really going to help. I'm not talking about padding politicians' um, pocketbooks for them to go um, sleep with their prostitute on the weekend. I'm not talking about that. I'm not really seeing changes in the community, like little tiny home shelter community or something for the homeless. Uh, buying up some land and making a plot and doing like a tiny home shelter uh, community or something like that. Um, I would love to do that. I've been wanting to do that for a long time when I'm able to do it, when I become a millionaire, which I'm not there yet by any stretch. But when I do, that is one of my plans for my community. And that's just the truth. And it has been for many years. My kids know this. But why don't you do that? Or something positive for the community, for the collective as a whole. Um, or something of that nature, if anybody needs to hear that. These people are about to ever regret what they've done. About to be labeled as human sex traffickers because they are. There's about to be some huge movement here soon. These people are about to ever regret what they've done, ever regret it. There's about to be some huge movement here soon. So, huge movement coming, um, and these people are about to ever regret what they did. That is technically what they did, if you think about it. That is technically what they did. It was a huge scam, spam, fraud. They were betting off us in the past. Uh, they just thought it was so funny, funny, hee-haw. Wouldn't tell us in the community because they were in on it. They had celebrities um, going in, um, betting on, uh, I don't know if celebrities were betting on us. I don't know if they're betting on us or they were donating to us. I don't know because I wasn't a part of that. Um, but however that resonates, this four members of the Secret Seven made a shit ton of money off us, all off a scam, a spam, and a fraud, period, point blank. But it technically was human and sex trafficking because they exploited and abused me and my kids while in this home and while they did this which is my home that I paid mortgage for still every single month. I still have like $80,000, $81,000 left in my mortgage still. And um, I bought the home for $115,000. I still have like $81,000 left in my mortgage. True story. And I pay my mortgage every month and I will in December of 2022. But my point is, at that time, I still had a mortgage too. And they were running an illegal con scams spam fraud business through my home still exploiting and abusing me and my kids making all this money off us not telling me or my kids what they've done because they took all the money behind the scenes secretly and split it all amongst their greedy ass selves and carted my kids off to my creepy ass ex-husband which i'm sure was in on it from some things he said to me in the past like where's the money like, what the fuck are you talking about? What money are you talking about? After that, he hasn't said anything to me about that since. That's been about two years ago. Three years ago. I don't know what fuck kind of money you're talking about, sir. But he has, you better believe he hasn't brought up money since. Probably because he hasn't. Or he was a hat at hand and creepily voyeuring us through the damn camera. And let me tell you, I think he might have started this shit because he had my daughter at 10 years old when we were in the last or not the last court battle, but two before this, walk around with camera and um, a phone camera in my rented space. This is a home I bought, but it was a rented space out in Hazel Green. Walking around, taking photos and pictures. Manipulated her to do it to try to prove my boyfriend at the time lived with me. For a court case, as evidence. Had him take pictures of his toothbrush and toothpaste and clothes in the drawer that I left because he lived about 45 minutes from me. Uh, because he kept telling me that he couldn't live with me because it would be breaking the papers, my ex-husband did. And if he lived with me, he would file me for contempt of court. And that's the truth. He told me that. And I know he would have. And that is the truth. 
All right, let me see if I can get anything else. These people really do not want to be held accountable for responsible for these, these actions, but they're about to be. These people really do not want to be held accountable and responsible for these actions, but they're about to be. Well, they should. They should. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. Hold on one second. And someone's health is severely declining in this, severely. And it will be continue to decline until this is resolved. Somebody needs to hear this. And someone's health is severely declining in this, severely. And I heard it will continue to dissolve, uh, severely decline until this is resolved. Meaning, hashtag giving my kids back because the, the Clinton standard wasn't met. Listen. Is, okay, so somebody implanted a hidden camera in my house to set me up and screw me over in the past. And I know my ex-husband was in on it. I'm not saying he did it. I don't think he did it. But I think he had somebody do it to try to set me up for a court situation. But that has backfired because there was no, because what they ended up doing was human and sex trafficking us, not really setting up me up for court. Because what he wanted to do was use the evidence against me in the camera in some shape, form, or fashion. To set me up in court, in the court of law. But the court court uh, date's already passed. And that's just the truth. And he got custody of the kids. Because he is a mind fucker. And he mind manipulated them. And that's just the truth. But they're young and malleable and they're teenagers. So it's easy to mind fuck teenagers. And that's just the truth. And I hate to say that, but that is the truth. But if you have a parent that really, really, truly cares about you and will do right by you like I would, nobody wants to mind fuck anybody. And that's just the truth. But I'm not my manipulative ex-husband. And that is the truth too. So, but those are facts. But the court situation has already passed for us. It's already passed for us. So, um, now, um, they have made all this money off us. And, and which I'm glad I didn't, nobody's had told me about this. I'm glad nobody has told me about this. Because now it is, technically a crime it's a huge it's technically a huge ass crime now because what they have done is taken shut the business down and taken all this money and it's technically now human and sex trafficking of the past because now i don't have my kids here and now the business shut down and now they've taken all the money meaning they have human and sex trafficked me and my kids in the past and that's just the truth someone is getting a huge wake-up call someone is getting a huge wake-up call and i hope somebody finds evidence on this has evidence on this calls the fbi and does something about this and i know people call the fbi in the past i know they did but now the business is shut down and the kids aren't here and they've done what they've done and it's over and done it is technically labeled as human and sex trafficking and it needs to be this needs to be an example for the world not to mess with people and that's just the truth because what they have done to me and my kids has been terrible it is my daughter was set up beautifully down here beautifully and that's just the truth now she's gone and my son has autism and I was getting him in an IEP in school down here. Now he's gone. All the beautiful things I was trying to do for my kids, they're not they're not here. And my son tried to run away already up there. He's already tried to run away. You tell me how that's a healthy environment up there. And that's just the truth. Because it's not. Because they're really not with people that really care about them. Those people care about money. I really, I care, yeah, I care about making money. Absolutely. And I can get out there and make money because I'm an RN. And I have been since 2013. And I'm confident in myself. And I know I can. But my point is, it's not about the money with my kids. The point is, is I can get out there and I know I can make money in a profession anytime as an RN. As long as I don't fuck up my license or fuck up my professional health, which I won't. But my point is, I would never want to make money off my kids because I don't want to. I don't have to. And two, if I... I would never do that. That's just sick as fuck. If I had a choice between human and sex trafficking my, my kids or prostituting myself, I would prostitute myself 
in a New York minute. I would never sacrifice my kids for human and sex trafficking. And that's just the truth. If I had to, if I had to, now I wouldn't. I've never prostituted and I never will. And that's just the truth. I don't have to. I'm a registered nurse. Why the hell would I do that? But even if I wasn't, I just wouldn't do that. I never prostituted before being a registered nurse. But my point is, is if I, it came down to it and I had to choose two, one of these two, and I couldn't do anything else like slavery, human slavery. You had to prostitute yourself to make money or you had to sacrifice your kids for human and sex uh, trafficking, slavery. I would prostitute myself out in a New York minute than choose my kids to be abused and exploited through human and sex trafficking. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. Perspective changes has already come and more about to come. Things are about to start going very fast. Perspective changes have already come and they're more about to come. Things are about to um, start moving very fast. Um, yeah, well, I'm serious. If you really look back and look at all the shit that happened to me and my kids in the past, that is technically what happened. And like I said, have I seen a dime of that money since? Has anybody told me any information on this since it's happened? Absolutely not. Not to this, not to this day. But I'm glad they haven't because what they have done is huge ass crime. And would I ever want to be a part of human and sex trafficking? Fuck no, I wouldn't. So really, that's on them what they have done. All this money they've made get rich quick schemes off of, that is on them. And that's just the truth. And they will have to live with it. I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. And I'm going to say.